I'm Elena Carrasco, a teacher of the Department of Food Science and Technology of the University of Córdoba, Spain. From the university, we are very pleased to present this video on chromatographic analysis of food, which is the object of a teaching innovation project that I coordinate and has been developed jointly by a group of teachers of my department, UCO Digital and Sky staff. I'm Macarena Menendez Garcia, technical staff of metabolomic and mass spectrometry and chromatography of Sky, central service for research support at the University of Córdoba. We carry out a quantitative analysis of pesticide in a food of plant origin such as tomato using as analytical technique gas chromatography mass spectrometry with a triple quadruple analyzer. The objective of this analysis was to assess compliance with pesticide legislation. Before proceeding to the analytical assay, we will explain some basic concepts necessary for a better understanding. Chromatography is an analytical technique in which chemical compounds are separated to determine their identity and concentration. In the case of gas chromatography, or GC, the compounds are separated in the gaseous phase. Mass spectrometry, or mass spec, is nowadays the most complete analytical technique and is characterized by its identification capacity. It can be used for both qualitative and quantitative analysis. It can analyze complex samples, it has a high sensitivity, it is universal and specific, it provides both structural and isotopic information, and is a rapid technique. Mass spectrometers have three different parts. Firstly, ions are produced at the ionization source and then separated in the analyzer. Then, the detector will identify and quantify the ions. The analyzer used is a triple quadrupole, and the acquisition node that we will be using is the MRM, multi-residue method, that provides a high specificity. Ions are formed at the ionization source by electronic impact. In the first quadrupole, the precursor ion is filtered, and then broken up into fragments induced by energy generated by ionized argon. And in the second quadrupole, or Q3, product ions are filtered, and then quantified in the detector. Transition 1 will produce the quantifying ion, while transition 2 will produce the qualifying ion. The division between the areas of both peaks is the so-called ion ratio parameter. The European standard describes the method for the analysis of pesticide residues in foods of plant origin by using the catcher's method of extraction and cleanup. It specifies the parameters to be taken into account in the method to obtain a reliable result whilst being in accordance with current legislation. The Sante Guide is a document from the European Commission that describes the minimum requirements in the quality control and validation of analytical methods of pesticides in foods. It details the calibration procedure, preferably in the food matrix, that is, using the same food to prepare the different calibration standards. The use of the internal standard is to minimize recovery loss and for control of the procedure. It also specifies the number of ions necessary for the correct identification based on the analyzer used and the maximum ion ratio variation allowed. Finally, it states the criteria and parameters for method validation. The European Commission defines both pesticides and active substances that may be present in food and their legal limits, at MRL or the maximum residue levels. The search for such limits can be carried out for the analytical results obtained. When a pesticide is out of limit in a food, it is notified in RASF system. When a sample is received in the laboratory, its identification is verified, which is crucial for sample traceability. According to the UNE15662 standard, the partial sample is first prepared for analysis. It is divided into quarters and then the portion for analysis is blended for its complete homogenization. Following the recommendations of the Sante guide for the quantitative analysis, a reagent blank is prepared, a tube without the sample, as well as standards for calibration in the food matrix. This is in order to minimize possible chromatographic errors induced by the matrix. Finally, the sample to be analyzed is prepared. In all cases, the same concentration of internal standard is added. 
To prepare the four standards of the calibration curve, we use a matrix blank, a tomato that has been previously checked for the absence or no detection of pesticides, and add different volumes of a multi-pesticide calibration standards of one parts per million, or ppm, depending on the calibration standard prepared. The extraction and cleanup procedure that is carried out is the dispersive SPE, solid phase extraction, catches. Firstly, in the extraction tube, we add 100 microliters of a solution of 10 ppm of triphenylphosphate, our internal standard. Then we weigh 10 grams of sample and abiogenic solvent, in this case, acetonitrile. It is shaken to enhance contact. In the pesticides extraction step, necessary salts are added, such as magnesium sulfate, which improves the partition between phases, sodium chloride, which controls polarity favoring the extraction of pesticides from the matrix to the organic phase, and citrate salts, which adjust the pH to 5.5 to extract all pesticides, both acidic and alkaline. To improve the extraction of pesticides from the organic phase, Ultraturax is used for one minute to allow for cell disruption. Next, we will centrifuge the sample tubes at 3000 RPM for the correct separation of the phases. In the cleanup stage, 6 ml alicot of the supernatant is taken and salts like PSA are added, which will eliminate organic acids, fatty acids, sugars and pigments that might have passed into the organic phase. Prior to the injection into GCMS, an alicot of acetonitrile, which is the organic phase containing the pesticides, is taken, evaporated and reconstituted in the same volume of cyclohexane ethyl acetate mixture, since they have a lower boiling point, and thus the evaporation of the compounds in the gas chronograph injector will be improved. After preparing the samples and prior to injection, we verify the instrumental parameters of both the gas chromatograph and the mass spectrometer, observing that all parameters have correct values. To proceed with the analysis of the samples, the sequence is created in its corresponding folder. First, we inject the reagent blank specifying both the position of the vial and the volume of injection. Then we put the different standards for the calibration curve and select the folder where the data will be saved and the MRM method of analysis, which contains the specific conditions for 153 pesticides, such as expected retention time, transitions for quantification and qualification, as well as their associated energies and ion ratio value that will confirm the unambiguous identification of a pesticide. Once GCMS is ready, the analysis of the samples will begin. When processing the data, we overlap the chromatograms corresponding to the calibration standards, observing the increasing signal of the chromatographic peaks at the different concentrations. Calibration curves are built up for each of the 153 pesticides, checking that minimum requirements such as curve linearity and RSD value being less than 20% are met. In the tomato sample, 9 pesticides out of the 153 analyzed are detected and quantified. We then verify that recovery of the internal standard is adequate. We also verify that the minimum identification requirements are met and that the concentration is within the calibration curve range. We look for each pesticide in the European Commission database, specifically in tomato, and the maximum value established is displayed. In the case of chlorpyrifos, this limit or MRL is 0.01 ppm or 10 parts per billion, 10 ppb. The sample quantifies 0.028 ppm, which exceeds the maximum allowed limit. We can also search for notifications of chlorpyrifos in RASF, finding out a notification on tomatoes from Egypt presenting a concentration of 0.610 ppm of chlorpyrifos, and thus exceeding the MRL established by 60 times.